Hello my people. Today I am bringing to you a new video in this series where we've been having some interesting conversations. You all asked for less men on my channel and I listened. Today I did lesbians versus bisexuals because I think lesbians and bisexuals both have beautiful unique experiences. We can learn from each other and understand each other and I love lesbian bisexual solidarity. If you're a bisexual watching this, more, I love you so much. If you're a lesbian watching this, I also love you. At the same time we did not shy away from some very important conversations. It got a little heated. Hopefully this helps someone even feel a little more included or even just someone maybe will see themselves in one of the people in this video. Please be so nice to everyone in the comments. Everyone's great. All right, let's do this. My name's Clover, my pronouns are they, them, and my sign is Taurus. I'm Jenny, I use they, them, and I'm a Libra. I'm Gemma, I use she, they pronouns, and I am a Scorpio. I'm Jillian, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a Libra. So many Libras! Yes. If you couldn't tell by my dramatic gasp. I also like don't follow star signs, I don't know why I care. Hi, I'm Loie, I use she, they pronouns, uh, and I'm a Taurus. Hi, I'm Jesse. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a Pisces. Do sapphic people love women in a different way than men do? <laughs> yes, I think lesbians can connect on a different level than a man and a woman. It might be periods, I don't know, but something about the connection with two women is so different than the connection with a man and a woman, and I've tried with a man as a lesbian, and it's just not the same. Totally agree with that. I think that sapphic people just, you have an understanding of each other, like, people of different genders don't necessarily have. And if you're more similar gender, I feel like you just automatically have an understanding of the other person. But it's just a different, a deeper level of connection. Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, I have a trans roommate and not to say that there aren't so many trans inclusive men out there, but like I've had some of my friends' boyfriends just say the most horrible, terrible things about my best friend just cause she's trans and like having a lot of queer friends even, it's like easier in that way. But also I do think it's a deeper connection. I have unfortunately dated men. <laughs> I'm so proud of your recovery. I'm working towards like acknowledging it and accepting it and hopefully moving past that part of my life. And what would you say every time that you would fuck with a guy? I would say I think I'm a lesbian. Sorry if you hooked up with me. Do you think lesbians and bisexuals could be more united than they already are and have better solidarity? Yeah, I think that lesbians and bisexuals could be more united. I already think we have it so hard as sapphic people. And like there are so many people who will judge that or judge our identities or treat us differently. So yeah. I think I think we can all come together and support each other. And I think that like we're seeing a lot of that online for sure. More and more there are conversations like this happening that I think are really helpful, but I think we can all support each other. I agree with that. When I realize that someone is a lesbian, I just feel like more drawn towards them. I don't know if it's like something like subconscious where it's like I see myself in them, so I want to be closer to them. So thinking to myself, I do feel like that is something that we can work towards, like being more open to people who aren't the exact same as yourself. Mm. Yeah, 100%. Well, I've identified as a bisexual before I came out as a lesbian. This is gonna be a weird ass niche reference, but there's this one f Barbie movie that's gay as f and there's like these two girls that live in a cottage together and it's called Barbie and the Diamond Castle. I've been in scene. <laughs> and I just, and they just live together happily in the woods and that's what I want for bisexuals and lesbians, you know? There's two male guys in it. They think they're annoying as shit. Like, it's yeah. such a good film. You all need to watch that. I think like all the lesbian friends I have and know, like love bisexuals, have dated bisexuals. Like, we just all want to kiss and have fun, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I will say, um, I do feel like there's a lot of biphobia, especially in the mask side of being lesbian. I'm not sure where it comes from. I don't know if it's insecurity or what, uh, especially because we don't feel like we can equate to the masculinity a man can bring, but I do hope that we can move past that. I see it mostly in masks, but I do think biphobia has gotta go. I agree. I did have one person I dated once that like was insecure about me having a male celebrity crush, which is actually Harry Styles. And it was just so funny because like, even as a lesbian, like I still have male celebrity crushes. Like yeah. I think Harry Styles is still attractive. He's like fine. I can acknowledge he's a beautiful man. He's fine, so. <laughs> no, but that makes sense. I've, I've seen that a lot, actually. I guess I've seen that discourse online where people will be like, I don't know if I'm a bisexual or if I'm a lesbian. If you have a fictional or celebrity yeah. crush, like, right. it's 
not the same as yeah. a real being person. person. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, Wait, I'm so sorry. I have a question. How many of you have opened the lesbian master doc? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Once a year. Cool, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Does that That's not so interesting. All the bisexuals have opened it. That's very interesting. Absolutely. Because really? yeah. really? that is a thing. Oh I think God. bisexuals can have comp head too. No, exactly. That, that is yeah. the whole dilemma here. Also, I feel like some bisexuals feel like they have to like dumb down or belittle their attraction to men mm. and like they don't have to do that which don't get me wrong like you're allowed to hate men as a bisexual 100 <laughs> yeah. percent but like i'm dating this man he sucks i hate like you know you don't have sure. to do that around lesbians like we see you and we understand you you don't have to do that that's definitely like something i've thought about before i had a family member when i was dating a man more seriously like last year who was like okay if this guy is it like are you just straight now and it was like oh. wow that's not how that works and yeah it was, i mean it was it was a family member it was somebody who really loves me but it was a conversation we had to have where it's like you know that doesn't erase a whole other side right. of you know you know? It is a thing that. though. Like I, I was in a very public relationship with a girl my whole childhood, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I was like 18, I started dating a guy who I'm still with, loving a bit, Angel. But since that, it's almost like on the internet, everybody's like, ah, oh, straight girl, whatever. We oh, And like, I got like, kind of like, exiled yeah. from queer communities and it was like guys yeah. i try to overcompensate and i'm like guys i'm 90 10 for women like yeah. please and then they're like let's stop with this whole you're gay but for your boyfriend and i'm like i can't win right. i promise i like girls yeah. <laughs> like, that's so true that's so interesting like based off who you're dating as a bisexual that people yeah. just view you as literally like that's literally yeah. how my yeah. sexuality yeah. works you're, yeah. you're with a man you're straight you're with a woman oh you're a lesbian yeah that's it's, just so like binary and not giving us any room to evolve and sexuality mm -hmm. can also evolve like i feel like there have been seasons in my life where i have <laughs> felt gayer and there are seasons where I have felt more like inclined to men and it just shifts and For changes. Sure. But then it's made me question like, am I even bi or like, am I straight now? Am I fully gay now? And it's like, I live with the kind of the label bisexual because it feels like the closest to what I am, but that bisexual isn't totally binary and it's allowed to evolve and change. And just because you're with a man as a bisexual person does not mean you're straight. I love that. These labels, you know, there's a lot of history behind them and identifying with a community is great. But at the same time, if you are confused and you're somewhere like, mm, I don't know if I'm bi or if I'm a lesbian, you could just identify as queer, for example. Yeah. Mm, yeah. With labels, if they're helpful to you in identifying yourself and if they make you feel more comfortable, use them all you want. But if they feel limiting to you, you don't have to use them or you can use umbrella terms. Like I prefer using queer, but if people refer to me as bi, I'm not like offended. I'm like, yeah, like I'm like, men and women and also envy people and other people mm -hmm. so you don't have to use a label unless it feels like it's more comfortable to you and it's empowering to you to use that i agree 100 percent, and i love that i like that you mentioned envy people because i feel like a lot of the times online i don't know if you had this experience when you identified as bisexual but every time that i say that i'm bisexual i will have some envy people like and be erasure and i'm like no yeah. it's oh, two yeah. or more genders yeah bisexual right you know it's not like two interesting genders. Yeah. is yeah. I technically identify as pan and mm -hmm. I will have people say the opposite where they're like, well, you're invalidating bisexual people by saying you're having a new label to include envy people. And I'm like, no, to what? me, it just means that I wow. don't care about gender. Yeah. So I think like there's a lot of discourse between like bi and pan because there's they're like one discourse. quote, quote, includes trans people and one doesn't. And I'm like, but right. first of all, envy people, sure, but trans people are their gender. So why are we mm -hmm. creating a label to like, to right. me, yeah. I'm like, I just say pan because I'm like, I like who I like. I don't think about gender. Yeah. Stresses me out to make a choice. Right. So it's like, yeah. I think it's whatever label you identify and feel comfortable with, but it's not yeah. because I've never met a bisexual that's like, it's because I don't date non-binary people. I do feel like there's not necessarily like one consensus for what the difference is between yeah. pansexual and bisexual. And I feel like it, when you see these labels, like what you identify with when you come out and that's kind of what works with you. People that are bisexual only see two genders. Yeah, yeah. I've never thought about that stuff either. Like to me, it was just like, okay, I don't want to sit here and confirm that I like every gender. It stressed me out because I had phases where I thought I was a lesbian. I had phases where I thought I was straight. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this stresses me out. And honestly, I, I put the label pan on because I was like, I can't come out on the internet dating a woman and not put a label to it. Otherwise people are gonna be confused and be annoying about it. So I felt pressured to put a label and I was like, that's the one thing that feels like doesn't make me wanna spoon my eyeballs out, you know? Yeah. So I was like, that's okay. Yeah, and at the same time, as a lesbian, a lot of people think that that means you're a woman who loves a woman. And that, mm -hmm. that's not 
the case. Yeah. And, yeah. Like as a non-woman person, when I'm dating people, it's like, if I'm going to see a lesbian, are they gonna see me as a woman? Cause that's not the case, but I'm still a lesbian. So it's a lot of nuance there and lesbian, like a historical term does include non-binary people, people who are just not woman by the textbook definition. Yeah, I think it's beautiful that it includes so much expansiveness in that too. And people don't seem to realize all the time. So what we're saying is we all love non-binary yeah. people. That's yeah. everyone yeah. loves yeah. <laughs> We love them presenting people. We love Envies. Everyone's we hot. Everybody's hot. hot. Everyone's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Who dresses better, bisexuals or lesbians? I can answer this. I think I dress the best out of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not bisexuals or lesbians, it it's actually just Jesse. It's actually just Jesse. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, <laughs> I'll stick with that. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I feel satisfied. I feel like it really depends on the genre of the person's style. Because yeah. there are yeah. incredible dressers with great style who are a lesbian, but someone who's bisexual might not think that that style is the best just because it's such a different look that they're going for. So both, I guess. Yeah, both. Yeah, yeah. yeah all of the above. Yeah. Also, I'll go out in sweatpants and a t-shirt, but also wear like a full suit. So yeah. depends on the day. Do you feel like queer people overall yeah. have yes. better style than mm -hmm. straight people? There is no specific type of queerness <laughs> that right, has right. better style. Do we think it's type. because queer people understand who they are? Like, Better in a way? Yeah. Like, so I you feel more free yeah. to dress how you want, yeah. maybe yeah. in some cases. Yeah. yeah, I also think too, I think queer people go through like a second glow up when they come out. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. When they first came out, like, I wore some questionable things. <laughs> likewise, babe, likewise. So, like, maybe not like, you know, it's like when you're first going through the glow up, you're experimenting. Like, maybe not when I first came out, but <laughs> I do feel like queer people like go through like a whole reinvention that yeah. like straight people don't necessarily go. Pass up the photos of you on the red carpet in the the blue. You have the blue They're hair, so <laughs> and then I have, and then I have a Getty where it's me with bisexual freckles, and really? it's really cute. Don't be wrong, but the fit was questionable. I'm sure it was better than my Getty images with the <laughs> wig. I'm. <sure. laughs> Let me walk you through this. Yes. By the way, this was a gala Vans, which is fine. Capri leggings. Yeah, yeah. It was a silver suit. Why was I know what these pictures look like? Because I've posted them a thousand times. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> do these like dramatic ass hair reveals. Like I acted like, <laughs> like I was releasing a new version of myself. I would only post in black and white for a week straight. And listen, I got the that's views, funny. so you know what? Iconic, I was gonna say, that's iconic. It was a little, that's but, so funny. But it was like, I acted like it was the biggest deal when I would change a hair color. And it was. It, is. it, was. it, it yeah. was, it was a big deal. It's a little rebrand. It was a rebrand. I wanted to hide this new hair color. Cause like the gala doesn't deserve oh. it. YouTube gets it first. So I like put on, I didn't know how to put on wigs. And I just tied my hair. You can see my hair color through the wig. So no. it was like counterproductive. And I just put this like short blue wig on it. And I was like, I know what will fix it. And I put a hat on backwards. I feel like the mass fashion art too is hilarious. Like style, yeah. like every like mask lesbian starts out looking like Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. <laughs> and then like they finally figure out like, oh, I don't have to look like Ellen to be taken seriously as a lesbian. <laughs> Everybody goes through that like when they all look like a Away from Tumblr, yeah. like where they have like a Supra like shoes on and like a what diamond snapback on, yeah. and they're like you're beautiful. Like yeah. it's so cringe. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. they all start there, and I had a hey mama's face. Wait, do you want me to walk you through mine? Yes. Okay, it was like a gala. It was like my first ever gay thing either. Okay. I really had not come out online. I had exclusively been with a man until this point too. This was like 2018, I think. Mm -hmm. And it was a very big deal for me because I was posting it online. So my family was going to see it. Um, I did bisexual freckles with little NYX liquid liners. Those were iconic and those, those can stay. The rest of the outfit. So it was a white bodysuit, very basic, whatever. But then I had on this sheer rainbow tulle skirt. That is so and... me in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> I was presenting an award to Nikita Dragon, of all people, and I got up there, and as I was up there, I was like, man, this skirt is really sheer. It took until I was on the stage for me to be like, I am wearing a tutu and no pants, and it is a serve, but it was a questionable look overall. Also, I was also a little bit naked. Who has the prettier flag, bisexuals or lesbians? If it's a consensus, 
consensus of lesbian. It really? definitely is. Right. Yeah, it's gotta be. You guys have the yeah. prettiest flag. Orange and pink has been all over Target. It's a bisexual <laughs> flag. Whoa! Orange and pink together for some reason triggers my flight. Yeah, I'm more of a bisexual flag person. I, I'm a lesbian, so. I think I just like the like the fade of the colors rather than like blue purple. Like it's like very aggressive. I do think they're both really pretty flag colors. Yeah. So. What do you think about bisexual women bringing their straight boyfriends to queer spaces? There's a time and place because if it's going to be like an exclusive safe space for queer women, a gay bar that's having a women's only night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then if you bring your straight boyfriend, then that's not going to be a, a very comfortable space for people. I agree. I think if it's like a pride event, like we welcome allies, like Jenny said, with bars or anything that's a designated safe mm -hmm. space for queer people, then I think I would not bring my straight boyfriend there if I have one. Absolutely. But I think places like Pride that are a little bit more open. Yeah. The only queer space I've ever brought my boyfriend into is Pride. And it's mm -hmm. nice bringing him to Pride. I feel like he's a good example of being a man dating a queer woman mm -hmm. because he's always like, yeah, my girlfriend's gay. Yay, gay yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. Like, and he has that energy to the max. And he brings me and yeah. he's dancing yeah. me around and lets me like run around and do whatever I want. He like yeah. celebrates my sexuality. I feel like a lot of my queer friends who are dating straight men, they tend to be like, well, she just had a phase in college. Yeah. And it's like, he celebrates it, which is nice. But when going into spaces where it's like vital for people to feel safe or queer only spaces, it's like, why are you bringing your straight boyfriend? Yeah. I'm also not a fan of the boyfriends that don't take lesbian relationships seriously because no. there will be a lot of times where like, oh yeah, my girlfriend's gay. She has another girlfriend, but it's not a threat to them because they don't see it as valid. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I don't want those kind of people there either. No. It's like they're either sexualizing the fact that their girlfriend has a girlfriend and it's just weird. I think that's why it can be really questionable for cis straight men to come into spaces yeah. that are safe for lesbians and queer people. Yeah. Like, I do think like something like Pride makes so much sense because just because somebody who is queer is in a relationship with a man, this is what we were talking about earlier, that doesn't mean it's not a gay relationship because that right. person is queer. But like, there's a time and place. Yeah. There's yeah. a time yeah. and place. Yeah. <laughs> I also do agree there has been like weird energy towards allies at yeah. Pride. Like, mm -hmm. this is part of my lore online and people know this but like i literally was like told i was queer baiting for being an ally for <laughs> pride and that was literally what like made I me just come out. Mad, yeah. <laughs> right first off allies are loved and amazing and beautiful but and not saying that every ally is this but like also a lot of queer people like identify as strong allies before coming out because yeah. it's like a way to still feel involved in the community exactly. without like having to come out because you don't know someone's yeah. situation i feel so. like a lot of people use it too like people who are in like family and life situations where they're not sure how it's gonna go. They use mm -hmm. that to like kind of test the waters to make sure yeah. they're in a safe environment yeah. to be right. able to yeah. be who That's a are. good, like that yeah. is a way to test the waters because it's like, well, I'm supportive of this community, mm -hmm. but I'm not in it. How are, how are my parents gonna react to even mm -hmm. that, you know? We need allies in office. Can everyone please go vote and yes. go to your polls? Yes! We are so close yes. and we need our allies there. Please. That is why it is important partially to mm -hmm. have allies in queer spaces <laughs> because a lot of them are voting for what our votes are. So <laughs> please go vote. Make sure you're registered to vote. And you can order an at-home ballot. There's yes. no cost. You don't need an excuse. You can just get your ballot at all. Don't even have Hear to deal that? with anyone. Yeah. Because gay that. people hate social interaction. I can hear some noise. So true! <laughs> Which stereotype about you is true? Lesbians and bisexuals interchangeably. Can't sit in a chair properly. Can't sit in a chair properly. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't sit in a chair properly. I always have a carabiner on my yeah. <laughs> my belt loop. Yeah. I will not go anywhere without my carabiner. Yeah. Uh, I get ready in like five minutes. <laughs> I'm not either of those. I'm like, what's what's my lesbian stereotype? Your short nails. <laughs> No. Those two have no polish. No, not anymore. Oh, well. Actually, yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> On both Where hands. You go? On both hands. That's not intentional, I swear. <laughs> oh, that is yeah. not intentional. Yeah. No, I swear that's not intentional, guys. I just thought it was funny the other day. Do bisexuals or lesbians make better music? Lesbians. Lesbians. Especially <laughs> recently, because think about Chapel, think about Renee, think about the music we're getting from the lesbian community. And also yeah. we're not getting Carlisle. Yeah, the, the icons. Yeah, it's yeah, lesbians. Not, we're not getting the same thing from bisexuals. Bisexuals right now. Chrissy, oh, yes, Peach, like, yes. Uh, yeah, there are that. some incredible bi musicians like yeah. Lady Gaga. Yes. I think bisexuals are Twilight really Cyrus. good at a really sad, yearning kind of song, you know, like a Phoebe Bridgers moment. Yeah. yeah. Exactly yeah. that. But you turn to the lesbians when you want to get.
get shit done. Yeah. Not that it's a competition, but who has it harder? Bisexuals or lesbians? Lesbians. 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 Wow, guys, look at us being so loving <laughs> towards each other. I stand by my statement. I have always said since day one when I came out, bisexuals have it harder. And you know why? Because biphobia, yeah. it comes from both fucking sides. That's Lesbians true, yeah. and straight people. Everybody hates bisexuals for some reason. And as a mask, like I hear for, I've dated a lot of bi women and bi women always tell me how hard it is to date masks because masks don't want to date bisexuals because they're scared of men. It's just, I, I could never be bisexual from how much it's a struggle to date in that world. Mm -hmm. I. I think it's so hard. But also, hard. bisexuals have to deal with dating men. Yes, and yeah. not alone. Yes. Which <laughs> automatically also <laughs> can put you in a more dangerous situation. Yeah. And also, yes, like, yes. I just know so many bi girls that have been, like, pressured to do things because their boyfriend thinks it's hot. Yeah. And, like, yeah. lesbians sure. aren't gonna be like, go kiss a man in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess on the flip side, I feel like lesbians are so often invalidated yes. and, like, not taken seriously. Or you have circumstances, like, when you came out and you lost, like, a ton of male followers oh, yeah. who were just, like... I was gonna say, I do think now that men know that they, like, don't have a chance with me, they are meaner to me. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I totally like, see that. Quite Literally, like they have no purpose for me now, but like they're still attracted to me and they're mad about <laughs> it. They should be. They they should be. It's gotten more unhinged from men since coming out as a lesbian, which is very interesting. Yeah. Unfortunate, but not surprising. A man is a man. This is not for you. <laughs> Unless you're a nice man that's like very supportive, I guess. Next question. We love you. Lesbians, give me your favorite bi icon, and bisexuals, give me your favorite lesbian icon. Billie Eilish. Lady Gaga, love her by icon. She's incredible. Mine's Jesse Page. Thank you, I appreciate it. Guys, the that. lines are blurring. We're oh, all just yeah, actually yeah. everyone oh on my side is by icon. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, mine is also Jesse, yeah, but also oh my God. Renee Rapp. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I hope you guys can. Sorry, Jesse. No, it's okay. That's a hard competition for yeah. me. Wait, is Jenna Ortega by? I don't. I think she hasn't is said she? anything explicit. Yeah. Tari Yummy. Tari Yummy. Never mind. She's she's queer. Nice by that. I guess. Bisexuals, are your relationships with men different than they are with women? Or like sapphic people? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. For me, there's been a weird difference in like power dynamics. Mm -hmm. Um, mm. where I feel like when I'm in a relationship with someone to a more similar gender than myself, it's like we're kind of on the same playing field or I'm intimidated by that person. But I feel like when I'm with a man, I feel like I'm in control. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was gonna say the opposite. Really? But when I'm in queer relationships, I feel like I fall more into dominant position. Mm -hmm. Okay. But top. then I, <laughs> I was trying to think of a nice way to say it. I'm yeah. a top. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like with my boyfriend, I'm like, you are a foot taller than me. I'm just a little baby. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> like. I don't know. I feel it's like so different though. Like yeah. I can't even like earlier you guys were talking about it and I was like, I can't even like form an opinion. It's not like the connection isn't as deep, but it's a different connection mm -hmm. for sure. with a man. It's weird because we're still best friends, but he doesn't take the role of my like best girlfriend. Mm -hmm. That's somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas when I'm with a more similar gender to mine, it's like they are my, my bestie, girly yeah. pop bestie mm -hmm. as well, yeah. which changes things. Mm -hmm. And I think there's benefits to that and i think there's also strong negatives to that yeah that's why so. everybody talks about ending up in the psych ward after your first lesbian yeah. breakup oh, and it's yeah. because the lines become so blurred yeah. like you're it's dating your best so friend wrong. and your girlfriend like it's it's, it's confusing it's and then you can't you can't like have other friends because you feel like you have to include yeah. them and in everything because yeah. you can't just leave out yes you're right. one of your friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, because so a best confusing. friend breakup can be like just as hard no. as like a normal breakup. Yeah. 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 So it's like going through both. Yeah. 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 Oh, I see that. Before you came out as a lesbian, did you come out as bi or pan? And were you treated differently then than you are after you came out as lesbian? Oh, I came out very early. I came out when I was in like eighth grade and my first girlfriend was freshman year of high school and it turned out really badly and I I was identifying as a bisexual at the time. So after we broke up, I was like, I need something completely different. So I started dating this guy and we went on a couple dates and then I overheard in the band room, cause he was a band kid, all of his friends around him said, oh my God, you turned the lesbian straight. <gasps> oh. Uh, I was bi at the time, mm -hmm. but knowing that, I'm like, well, no, <laughs> I'm not straight now. Yeah. There's like a really funny photo of like, 
<laughs> you have like Jenny just like with a man yeah. just like oh, not, t- not touching yeah, yeah. 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 he wouldn't touch me <laughs> oh, oh it was him right it was, was him him. he wouldn't touch me how iconic the lesbian yeah. like what an iconic and role they, they kind of they were kind of on they, something they, they yeah. kind of yeah. 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 I ghosted him I ended up ghosting him and then I never talked to another man ever again did he like say he was in love with you after like one day yeah yeah on yeah on the okay Come cool. on, Jenny, breaking man, yeah. a man's heart. Yeah. <laughs> well, kind of like what I was saying before, with I do think men that follow me online now are meaner to me because they quite literally know that they have no chance with me. You know, it was so funny. Like when I would date men, like all of my content was so fucking gay. They were like, "Are you sure you're not a lesbian?" <laughs> like and like. Just the whole time, like, I I had more of the men being insecure that I was a lesbian than, like, the people I was dating that were, like, queer being insecure. <laughs> Sometimes, like, around certain queer people, I was like, oh my god, like, am I not queer enough because I'm bi? And also, I felt like I had to, like, hold on to the bisexual label for a long time because I was like, well, I'm giving my family hope that I'll end up with a man. So, like, once you tell your family you're lesbian, it's like, oh, like, you're not gonna end up with a man. So, like, that's a different way to be treated for sure, you know, because, like, you're in inevitably gonna end up in a queer relationship yeah. if you're out as a lesbian. What is a sapphic clothing trend that you would never wear? The whole hey mama's fit. <laughs> You're not gonna catch me walking outside with a snapback that's too big for my head. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I respect the grind on that one, but yeah, likewise, I, I don't have a head for a <laughs> backwards snapback. As a butch, I don't typically wear makeup a lot, but that is something that I would never find myself doing. Like the whole like blush, like Jesse and Loie, you look great with all the makeup, but that's just <laughs> not something that I would ever participate in. I'm just very femme. So I think like, I just, that's just always how I'm gonna express myself I guess so like for funsies we were like oh my god let's like dress me up a little mask today for this event <laughs> and it felt very not me yeah it was a little silly goofy because I, I didn't even have like, enough pieces I like up. quite honestly like me wearing pants today is like a big deal because like I'm <laughs> yeah. such a dress skirt girl yeah. so yeah the femme lifestyle is not for the week baby girl it's no, not for me my makeup takes two hours like yeah. absolutely yeah. bisexuals how do the men you date view your bisexuality luckily I don't think I've ever been invalidated by a man that I've dated I'm very picky with who I date with men, women, as you and should women. be. Yeah, <laughs> which means I'm very single and haven't for a long time. But um, with men, I also gravitate towards queer men, and like my last mm -hmm. two major relationships have been with bi men. They just ha already automatically have an understanding of me, and and I definitely prefer that. So it just feels like an automatic safe space, not having to explain anything about myself. Mm -hmm. So luckily, I haven't faced any judgment or weirdness from any partners. The last date that I went on was with a bisexual man, and I was like, I never. Ever had a date this good with yeah. a man like in my entire life it's just so much more comfortable I feel yeah. I've been in both situations I feel like I've definitely been in relationships in the past with people whose character wasn't really the best but who hypersexualized my mm -hmm. bisexuality for sure and like used it as like well do you want to go make out with a girl tonight like giving me like a hall yeah. pass you know what I mean mm -hmm. and that that took me a long time to like even realize that it was so bad and so toxic I mm -hmm. it just didn't even occur to me because like my attraction towards non-men is like some fun thing that I do at the bar when I'm drunk you know so yeah I think at the worst it can be you're not taken seriously hypersexualized I think at best a man can just be like period <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that just shows that like that man in that situation yeah. like didn't even take your attraction towards non-men seriously yeah. because he didn't even like view it as cheating for you to like go and exactly. out with like mm -hmm. that's so interesting. What is one nice thing that you can say about the other community, lesbians to bisexuals and bisexuals to lesbians. There is not a community I feel safer with than my lesbians. Like I just, oh, I never feel more accepted, more seen. And I know that biphobia is a thing and it can be rampant in anybody, regardless of their sexual orientation. But when I am out and surrounded by lesbians, I am just like, this is maybe the best thing that's ever happened to me, actually, so. Yeah, on that same note, I've gone to dyke marches, specifically in WeHo, and I love going with my lesbian friends and my bi friends, and 
even though the Bifrons aren't technically part of the dyke mark, they still come and they're that number for the solidarity and they're mm -hmm. just cheering for me and my lesbian friends and I think it's just so beautiful. I feel like a lot of bi people end up settling for lesbians or men that don't validate them enough and I just want to say there are lesbians that exist out here that do validate you and see you and aren't threatened by men, um, so don't settle. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Love that. As someone that identified as a bisexual for what, like six years? Um, that was a beautiful time in my life and I love bisexuals so much. Mwah. You guys are great. And it's just an incredibly open-minded, diverse, great group of people that experience way too much hate and biphobia and still stay strong. Yeah. It's just the sapphic way. I mean, yeah. we all just, we're so strong. We're all obsessed with each other. I think that that's really what we've learned by the end of this. Yeah. Is, don't I don't settle. know. Yeah, don't settle. Go vote. Go vote. <laughs> totally yeah, I was like, we're just obsessed with each other. That's like a moral I'm like, we're going to kiss, actually. We're like, go vote. We're like, actually, we all <laughs> We all just want to kiss each other. Right. Oh, that's a. This is what we try. The men that follow me, the men that follow me will love that, guys.